My name is Robin Jones. And I'm Mira McLeod, talking about Boker Creek. The headwaters of Boker Creek is located on the northwest side of the University of Victoria's campus, just outside of Ring Road. The area encompasses 14 acres, which can be seen here on the map. The main channel of Boker Creek flows southeast from the headwaters area through the Shelbourne Valley, past Fort Street, and enters the sea in Oak Bay. Today, the Boker Creek watershed is largely urbanized. The main stream and tributaries of the creek have been altered, with 70% of the channel now confined in culverts. These culverts form the backbone of municipal stormwater drainage systems. On the map, the solid blue line displays the areas of the creek that exist above ground. Historically, Bowker Creek was a meandering, low-gradient creek that used to support coho and chum salmon, as well as cutthroat trout. But due to urban and agricultural development over the years, the creek has been artificially deepened and straightened. While some areas of the stream do still meander slightly, the stream is more of an incised creek today and no longer supports fish spawning. For feature one, we can see the meandering of the river. This is caused by the faster water picking up and moving sediment from the outside of the banks to the inner curves. Over time, this causes the river to wind and meander more and more. For feature two, we have the point bar. This is formed by the meandering process of the river. The point bar is a curved ridge that is created in the inner part of the bank of the curve. Feature three, we have the nick point. This is a region where the topography becomes steep. And in this case, we have a man-made nick point which has created a waterfall. This feature alters the stream by changing the velocity as it nears the waterfall, which causes an increase in erosion taking place. Rushing water and sediment topple over the waterfall, eroding a plunge pool at the base. This is a map that is showing the elevation and the topography of Oak Bay and then following Oak Creek. Boca Creek is drawn in, in red for a better visualization. Um, you can see on the left-hand side that the creek appears to possibly be meandering. However, um, when going out to do field research, Robin and I saw that the creek is actually reinforced by cement to be shaped this way permanently. The dotted lines represent the path that the creek takes underground. This is a man-made pathway. Then, when it resurfaces, the ground does not appear to be changing in its gradient, and the creek goes in a relatively straight line until it reaches the ocean. The local topography of Victoria is moderately flat, so the velocity of Boker Creek is low. This is why the creek used to meander back in the day, but is not able to now due to the channelization. Also, with the surrounding area of the stream consisting of impermeable surfaces such as roads and walkways, much of the precipitation becomes runoff and ends up in the stream. This image of the Copengeiger Climate Zones map overlays the Google Earth image of Vancouver Island, BC. To the right of where it says Victoria is where Oak Bay is located. This is seen as a CSB area. This means that precipitation in the summer months is the least amount, being 40 millimeters of rain whereas the winter months have a lot more precipitation and the total months out of the year where the temperature reaches above 10 degrees Celsius has to be four months. This image is a climograph of Oak Bay where Boker Creek is located, with the red line being the temperature and the blue bar is indicating the average precipitation for that month. You can see that there are a lot more than four months where the temperature reaches above 10 degrees being six. However, this is possibly a recent change through climate change, global warming, and other issues that have affected this area. However, what still holds is the amount of precipitation in the winter being a lot wetter than the summer months. You can also see a direct correlation in the summer and winter months where the hotter the temperatures are, the less precipitation, and the colder months have substantially more precipitation. This graph is of the annual discharge and the forecasted discharge in the next couple months of Boker Creek. And you can see the correlation between the discharge pattern and the precipitation pattern from the climograph earlier. 
In conclusion, Bowker Creek has a lot of history and has been altered in many ways. There has been lots of restoration done on this creek as well to help combat and mitigate the changes. Overall, this stream plays a large role in stormwater drainage for many communities, including Oak Bay. This activity was a great learning tool as it allowed us to step outside and physically examine a local creek. It also helps us to connect what we have been learning in class to the real world.